Let's take a look at this question. A 4 microfarad capacitor is charged by a 200 volt supply. So this capacitor is connected to a 200 volt supply. This is a 4 microfarad capacitor and this is 200 volt. It is then disconnected from the supply which means then we disconnect the capacitor from the supply and is connected to another uncharged 2 microfarad capacitor. So this is an uncharged 2 microfarad capacitor. Now we want to find out how much electrostatic energy of the first capacitor is lost in the form of heat and electromagnetic radiation. So first of all let's find out what is the energy stored in this capacitor when it is connected to the 200 volt supply. Now C1 over here is 4 microfarad which is 4 into 10 to the power minus 6 farad and the voltage supply is 200 volts so the charge Q0 which is stored on this capacitor will be C1 times V0 the energy stored on the first capacitor U will be half C1 times V naught square because the energy is given by half C V square or you can have Q square by 2 C but over here since we are given the voltage we will use this form which is half C V square now this is the energy which is stored on the first capacitor and this is the charge which is stored on the first capacitor now we come to the next to the key idea of this question once charge is stored on this capacitor and then you disconnect the capacitor then the charge Q0 which is present on this capacitor stays constant the charge is you can say the charge is locked the charge can't move now when we connect this capacitor which carries a charge of Q0 to the other capacitor then this plate and this plate are these are two conductors so the charge Q0 gets shared between these two plates say these plates are positively charged and say these plates are negatively charged so you can think that a charge Q0 which was initially present on this has some part of it which remains over here which is Q1 and some part of it which has been transferred to this other plate or the other conductor this is simply you have two conductors and they have been connected so once you connect the two conductors since this has a greater charge and the charge on this is zero charge will flow and charge will flow till the potential on these two plates becomes equal similarly you have the negative plates and one is at a one has more charge and the other has zero charge so charge will flow until the two plates are at the same potential now if the original charge was Q0 so we can say that in this state when equilibrium is reached when equilibrium is reached then Q0 becomes equal to Q1 plus Q2 and we can write this in terms of C and V as this is the original capacitance which was C1 so this is C1 times the potential which was V0 is equal to C1 V plus C2 V see if you notice this potential V is different from V0 V0 was the original potential when the capacitor was connected to the source which is 200 volts and V is the potential when they are both connected to each other now V will be given as given by now this means when the the two plates of the capacitor acquire 
a potential difference of 400 by 3 volts, then the flow of charge stops. Now in this situation, let us find out what is the energy stored by these two capacitors. Because we, we need to find the difference in energy. This is the original energy in this situation. Now we will find the energy in this situation. Now the energy is the sum of the energy, sum of the energies on the two capacitors, which is half and this was C1 and this is the new potential which they have, they have acquired and this is half C2 and this is that same potential which is on both the capacitors. Now substituting the values over here you will get half Now the energy on these two capacitors is 5.33 into 10 to the power minus 2 joules and originally the energy was 8 into 10 to the power minus 2 joules. So the difference of this will give us the energy lost and that energy lost you can see is So this gives us the final answer which is the energy lost in the form of heat and electromagnetic radiation when the first capacitor is connected to the second capacitor. So you might be wondering why is this so? See this is because when the first capacitor is connected to the second capacitor, current will flow because charges will flow along these connecting wires. So when charges flow along these connecting wires, there is a flow of current. And when there is a flow of current, there is bound to be joule heating. So you have some energy being lost in the form of heat. And electromagnetic radiation is also radiated because the charge, when the charge flows, this is, these charges are accelerated. So when these accelerated charges flow, there is some amount of electromagnetic radiation which is produced in the wires. So the energy is lost in the form of heat and electromagnetic radiation.